Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the rabbit hole, and welcome to my 2024 skincare routine. It is the time of year where I film this series, and I'm so excited for this year's. I just feel like my routine has been refined. My skin is looking so much better. And what this is going to mean is a total of four videos. I do basically skin cycling before it was called skin cycling at least. I have a pretty standard AM routine and I alternate a few things about the way I do my routine in the evenings. Today's video is, in my opinion, the most important one of all. Because if you are just stumbling upon this channel, I am somebody who has acne, dry skin, and a little bit of sensitivity. And this is the routine that is going to target acne fighting as well as anti-aging. I used to think I was the only one over the age of, I don't know, 25, still over here dealing with acne, now wanting anti-aging properties in my routine as well. But no, there's, there's dozens of us. There's actually a lot of us, so I'm hoping that this routine is helpful for anybody else who might have a similar skin type to mine. I'm also doing something really special tonight. I am making sure this entire video is favorite products that are all affordable. I have some pricier favorites, but why go with them? I wanna make this a, an inclusive routine. There is nothing over $30. Timestamps and links are in the description box below as always, and I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to stay focused, make it as straightforward as I can. None of the Alice tangents, I'm gonna try. Now again, this is a PM routine. We are gonna get into some cleansing, but I'm keeping it simple tonight. I used a very lightweight sunscreen today, the Anua sunscreen. It is not feeling heavy and it's easy to remove. There is something else I do in the cleansing. I'll, I'll show you everything, but we are only gonna use one cleanser tonight. The Pinoxyl Acne Creaming Wa- I think I just said creamy. It's not creamy, it's creamy. Acne Creamy Wash with 4% benzoyl peroxide. This is an acne fighting cleanser, so I find that if I am dealing with breakouts, I like to kind of concentrate this where the breakouts are and just let it sit for one to two minutes, not a long time, just a little bit. And here's a surprise for you all. I like to remove this cleanser with a good old cognac sponge. I have some Foreo devices, but you know what? This works. This works and I feel like it's either on par, it's, it's probably on par with the Foreo device. The catch is, if you do end up loving cognac sponges, you, you will have to keep replacing them. But this is such a great gentle form of physical exfoliation that really deep cleanses without being harsh. Do you all remember that era where everyone hated physical exfoliation and felt like every bit of physical exfoliation was identical? It's, it's wild to me. It is so different to use a cognac sponge versus St. Ives apricot scrub. They're both physical exfoliation, they feel completely different. I mean, again, a washcloth is technically physical exfoliation. It's all about finding the right level for your skin. And I don't know why, but this just seems to pair really well when I use my benzoyl peroxide cleansers. I rinsed my face in the sink and we are ready to move on to step two. I am going to use this Anua Heartleaf 77% toner. It is a beloved product for me at this point, and also Anua is our brand of the month. Yes, Anua April. I didn't even do that on purpose, or maybe I did, subconsciously. This is my uh, fifth bottle of this. By the way, I just put the nozzle, the sprayer from the Indie Lee toner on this bottle because Anua says you can. If you're ever unsure if you can decant product into another packaging or change the nozzle, just, just contact the company. Per Anua, you can do that with this product. What is funny is this is my fifth bottle, but this has been picking up some speed on social media. And because of it, I feel like I've seen a lot of people talking about reactions with this product. At first I was surprised and then I really got to thinking about it and I, I don't think I'm that surprised. This does have quite a few plant extracts including flowering plants in it and you know these are extracts not the same as essential oils but there can still be a risk of allergy or irritation or it could go really well for some people. 
file me in the really well group. I love this product. But heads up, if you're really sensitive, definitely pay attention to plant extracts. There's so much attention on fragrance as a category as being the sensitizing category, but it is so poorly understood. You know, when you see a, a flower extract in a product, when you see vanilla extract, are these, are these fragrance or not? <laughs> I think the problem with acknowledging how huge of a topic skin sensitivities and reactions really are is it means that people can't do this quick summarizing of, oh, just avoid the word fragrance, just avoid essential oils. But when we miss the nuance, and I'm sorry, I'm such a, oh my gosh, I'm such a broken record on this, but when we don't address the nuance, so many important conversations are lost. Anyway. Let's move on to the serum step, and I am going with, I missed this so much, the Manyo Bifidobiome Complex Ampoule. You know, nothing is beating this for me. <laughs> I actually had a mini of Estee Lauder's Advanced Night Repair Serum for a bit. I finished that off, and I still was over here going, I, I think I might, I think I somehow might like the Manyo more? than Estee Lauder's. The premise of both of those is very similar. That's why this is often called an Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair dupe. They're both supposed to be hydrating, anti-aging, with a focus on bifida ferments lysate for dryness as well as repair. But at the end of the day, your skincare routine always comes down to what works for you. We all have different experiences. My skin likes some expensive products like SK2, and then uh, apparently its favorite Bifida product is not that expensive. By the way, this is a product that you can get in different sizes. The small size, the travel size of this is actually one fluid ounce, so a Western full size, and it's about $23. This is the larger size, which is about 33. This is, I think, 1.67 fluid ounces. Yeah. Anyway, I'm raving about this product. If you want to know more about this, this is a brand where I did a review in the past. I have a lot of information about them. So I will try not to just repeat everything here today. I'll link you the video instead. But overall, the reason I love this so much is because as somebody with sensitive skin, who is looking for anti-aging products, it's just such a good match for me. I wanna do a quick recap. I wanna make sure we're all up to speed here. So this is, again, an acne-fighting, anti-aging routine. We started by addressing the acne. We moved on to a product that I would say overall is for hydration. And then we moved into a serum that is for hydration and repair. You might think that neither of these are directly addressing acne or anti-aging, but I would say they both are. Dehydrated skin is going to show fine lines and wrinkles much more than hydrated skin. Next, I'm going to apply an eye cream, and this is an eye cream that is designed for more mature skin. Keep in mind, eye cream is an optional category, but let me just be honest with you. This is a $28 high-end looking and feeling K-Beauty eye cream. This is the Misha Chogong Jean Yungin Jin Eye Cream. Ended up buying this as a consequence of loving, loving Chogong Jean after our month trial of K-Beauty for Mature Skin. Again, this is an optional product, but when you do the math here, it is $28 for one fluid ounce. Do you realize that breaks down into 14 for a half ounce, our usual Western eye cream size? And can you see how thick and occlusive this is? I don't know if you can really see this on camera. Maybe once I apply it. The brush is very optional, but I like to feel fancy. <laughs> but y'all remember that era where everyone was saying eye cream is a scam? I don't know, it just gets so hard to say eye cream is a scam when I know you can get such a beautiful one for the equivalent of $14 for a half ounce. And that's before Yes Style discounts. Let me actually not forget to put my YesStyle uh, discount code somewhere on the screen and in the description box. You can always stack that with whatever coupon code they have going on, so you aren't even really paying the prices that you see for these products. And let me tell you why I love this so much. So this is the line that is based in not just ginseng, but black ginseng. 
which is aged ginseng, and in the process of aging ginseng, you have a higher end concentration of those parts of ginseng that we believe are responsible for the anti-aging activity. The ginsenicides have a higher concentration. But it's not just that. Again, I love this texture. I love the texture of the Jungen products. Oh, so good in both the eye cream and the moisturizer. And that occlusive texture is especially nice since I am going to be using a retinoid in this routine and I want to make sure I don't get it in my eye area. My friends, we are moving right along. We are almost done with this skincare routine. We're going to finish with a retinoid sandwich, but I want to take a moment in this routine tonight and do something that I don't normally do with a retinoid because it's important in the context of this video. I want to talk about what I do when I have a pimple. Again, usually on the night that isn't the retinoid night. If I have a pimple, here's what I do. I take a look at it. I am trying to find one right now. Actually, looks like we might have something going on right here. And what I like to do is evaluate it. We need to see where it is in the journey of a pimple. Is it still under my skin? Can I feel that pimple pushing upward, the pain that is a pimple? You know, if you have acne, you know. If I feel it coming, that's when I reach for the micro dart patches. Now, I always go with peach slices because it's the most affordable and I like saving money. And what these are is they're patches that contain these little dissolving needles that push deeper into your skin. And in the case of these, you get, you get some niacinamide tea tree, some willow bark salicylic acid delivered deeper into your skin to target that pimple. And that works great to just speed the whole process up. I don't deal with pimples for more than three days anymore with micro darts. If we are already at the surface and we can see a white head, that's when we go with our standard hydrocolloids. And again, because I don't like spending money, I especially don't like spending money on acne. That's an annoying thing to spend money on. Can I at least spend my hard earned money on, I don't know, Thai food? That's delicious. Pimple stuff, bleh. These are very affordable. They're by Eliza Vecca. They're blemish spot patches, usually two to three dollars for 44 of these. And there's pigs fighting a fire on the packaging. What more could I want in life? And one more case, and that is the inflamed red pimple. That's when I go with the lion pear cream. Makes sense that this would help with inflammation as it's a topical form of ibuprofen. I recently saw someone say, you can just grind up ibuprofen and put that on your skin. Crafty, let's not do that. There is going to be a composition difference between something meant to be swallowed and something meant to be applied to your skin. So just, just, just get the lion pear. Just get this. <laughs> it's not expensive either. Everything in this video is affordable. It's not expensive. I actually just bought three more tubes of this because I'm not playing around. One of my top 10, see, it's on my top 10 list. And this I do use with the uh, retinoid. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and add a little tiny bit of this tonight. Whatever's going on here, maybe some redness over here. And let's do the sandwich. Let's do the sandwich. Lipid Gold, my absolute favorite repairing moisturizer. I'll call it a moisturizer. I treat it kind of more like a, a heavier serum, a lightweight moisturizer in my mind. I never finish. We never finish a routine with Lipid Gold. It always sits somewhere in the middle or as you're going to see tonight as the first step in our Adapalene sandwich. Absolutely an amazing product for strengthening your skin for repair. It does have a naturally unscented smell. Not as bad as some unscented products. <laughs> Y'all, I am trying so hard to use a serum I got from Paula's Choice. It's the uh, multi pep, no, that's not what it's called. The peptide booster. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. It is so, it's so smelly. Sorry, Alice Tangent, I'm, I'm back, on the, back on the topic. <laughs> I just really like talking about skincare. I think the great thing for me about Lipid Gold is that Somebody just asked, what products never irritate my skin? This, this right here, never irritates my skin, always helps improve my skin. It's, it's truly such a special product. Ah, we're trying to remember codes. I also have a code. It is, I think it's Alice in the rabbit hole. So me, 
I forget to say that in literally every video that I ever post. Here's a tip. I'm about to step away. I'm gonna take a 10 minute break, I'm gonna go do something else, and then we're gonna come back and finish this off because I wanna make sure that I'm applying my Adapalene to dry skin. So, we will return for our retinoid. Are you ready to finish off this routine? We are going to be using Adapalene 0.1% and we are going to use Walgreens brand because, say it with me, Alice doesn't like spending money on acne products. And it works. It, it works. You know, the packaging said, compare to different. So I did, and it's practically the same thing. But less money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the way to use this is a pea size amount to this day, I admit to you. I don't know how big a pea is. It seems to vary. Seriously, are we talking about Costco-sized peas? How does Costco have such big fruit? What, what is that? But you know, I saw Dr. Dre say, rather than say pea size, why don't we all say pearl size? And she's got a point. She's got a point. I know exactly how big a pearl is. Now, here's what I like to do to get an even application of this. I just kind of dab it across the tips of all of my fingers. Then we're gonna share the love back to my other fingers. So we've got little tiny dabs of this Adapalene gel everywhere. And then we can just tap that all over and really get a good even application of this. I know some people were struggling with spreading their retinoid. This just makes it so easy. And then after all of these tippity tappities, then we can just gently massage it out. I've said it before and I will say it many, many times again, nothing, nothing has ever changed my skin as much as Adapalene. I know there are different retinoids out there, but this is the one that targets acne. And we do have preliminary data that it may help with anti-aging as well, which does make sense. It acts on some of the same receptors, so it does make sense. I'm very happy with it. I, I am happy with Adapalene. And that's what skincare comes down to. You know, you gotta find the right match for your needs. Maybe for you it's Adapalene, maybe it's not. Maybe it's retinol, maybe it's Tret. But there does get to be a point on your skincare journey that really does where, uh, you know, it's, it starts out so frustrating, right? Do, do we all remember how frustrating it was sculpting our original skincare routine? Somewhere down the road, you start to really understand what works for you and it starts to get so fun because you're seeing results, your skin looks and feels great. I can feel that my eyes were just getting red. I was getting a little emotional over here because, you know, I don't think I've really talked much about this on this channel, but as somebody with acne that used to be pretty bad, I've had a lot of frustration with skincare. I've absolutely, absolutely cried about my skin many, many times in the past, many times. And it's so funny to think that now I'm here with skin that looks so much better making skincare videos on YouTube. Life is funny. It's funny. I am chit-chatting because I wait after this as well. So let me just pause the video here and we'll come back and we'll end this routine. We are back. We are finishing this routine with a thick, heavy moisturizer. And I just had to go with this Bioma Rich Cream. You know, I've had a lot of people ask me, what's the heaviest, thickest moisturizer that you know of? And this is such a good, thick moisturizer. It starts to blur together. It starts to blur together. There's a lot of good options out there at different price points. This is a good affordable one. You do not have to spend a lot to get a great moisturizer for dry skin. Look at how rich this is. This moisturizer is so rich, it got into college on a bribe and yet still cosmetically elegant. A beautiful way to finish up this retinoid sandwich. You stick that retinoid in between a lightweight moisturizer and a heavyweight moisturizer. And my friends, that's it for the routine. I'm filming this outro here on the very next day, the next morning, have not yet done my AM skincare routine, but you can see my skin is still not too dry. The sandwich method with the retinoid works for me. Keep in mind that if you've never tried a retinoid or retinol, it takes about six to eight weeks to see results, but I am now at uh, about over two years, over two years actually. <laughs>
I believe we started in February of 2022 with Adapalene and I am very happy with it. I hope this video was helpful for all of you. As always, feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you all next time.